Today we're using Tumblr Poxy, some glitters from It's Pretty Personal. On the ombre, we are going to use the Kingdom line, Your Majesty, You Are My Sunshine, Tickled Pink, and Sweet Prince. We're gonna go ahead and get our epoxy all mixed up and ready for epoxy method application for our glitter ombre. Rub on a very thin layer for our epoxy method ombre. I'm gonna start at the top. I make just a little ring around the top and then I slightly tilt my cup and sprinkle it down. I'm gonna go ahead and now do the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just slightly hold my cup at an angle so it drips down on its own. Go up a little bit more, go in with our pink, tilting my cup each way to, so it waterfalls down and going back in with the yellow. I could then go back in with each color. I use my fingers to sprinkle the glitter to get a little better blending. After a little bit of cleanup, we're going to take our cup. I'm too cheap for parchment paper, so I just wrap it in my kid's homework to get my surface flat. I go around the rim at the top and the rim at the bottom. If you're using a cup with a screw on lid, make sure that you place it correctly. After you have epoxied your cup smooth, you're going to be ready to apply your decals. Once again, make sure that your name is going to line up with your lid if it is a screw on lid. Once you have decided the angle for your name decal, you can mark it off like I do because I need a visual. Then you're ready to apply your leopard print decals. I like to adhere mine to the cup in a spot and then I peel my backing, I cut it, and then I'm able to just roll my cup onto the rest of it. This is gonna be removed so we don't need to worry about a perfect application, bubbles, that kind of thing. So just smooth it over, give it a good rub down, remove your other piece of backing to adhere the rest of your leopard spots on and then go ahead and remove your transfer tape. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and head outside. I had to switch cups for the video because <laughs> I completely bombed the first one. I am using Rust-Oleum 2 times Perfect Gray. We're going to go ahead and just do a light coat over the whole thing. You don't want it super dark, but you don't want it too light either. I had to do a little finagling here because it was crazy windy and it was a little hard to spray paint. Normally I don't get quite as that close to my cup. So, but because of weather conditions, I did have to spray a little closer than I normally do. That's about the look I want. I want it to be see-through. I want the colors to shine through, but I still want some decent coverage. All right, here we are back inside, ready to go on to the next step. My children joined us. Now I am using Tack It Over and Over by Aileen's. This is the green and white bottle. I like to mix my Tack It with 50% water. I use this for my adhesive for everything. So I always give it a little stir because I just keep it in a little Tupperware container. So I give it a little stir before I apply. These brushes are folk art brushes from Walmart. They come in a two pack, they're like $5. They're really nice for um, Mod Podge, glue type of thing because they don't leave a ton of streaks. Still a few, but not a ton, like a lot of other brushes do. So we're gonna do a pretty decent coat over the whole cup. I try to do, you know, just one strokes. Don't forget your butt. Get your rim, give it a nice good rim job, and a couple more strokes to even out. If you have any splooges laying around or something, you wanna get those, otherwise you're gonna to have to wait forever for that splooge spot to dry. So once you have all of this done, this is taking forever, I'm gonna speed this up. All right, that's a little better, let's speed her up. Now we're going, I'm using my embossing gun to dry my glue because I'm a little impatient once that's dry. I go over with a second coat. When doing your second coat, you wanna be a little bit careful not to go over the same spot more than a few times, otherwise you're gonna end up with issues. Using white platinum from It's Pretty Personal, we're going to cover our entire cup in that 
and then we are going to give it a nice good rub down rub it out all over the cup nice smooth soft motion you don't need a lot of pressure I don't anyways the way I do it and you're just gonna rub all over the cup don't forget your butt and you just keep going until the entire cup is rubbed Once you're satisfied with your rub down, give it a quick look over, make sure there are no spots that have not laid flat and you're ready to move on to the next step of removing the decals. I am using a pin pin I got from 143 Vinyl, my favorite tool for removing decals. Then you just remove the decals nothing fancy nothing specific to it you just pluck them on up of there and throw them away make a pile next to you do whatever tickles your fancy once we have all of this done and completed you gotta take one more look at it because it's too pretty not to and then we are going to head on over to our turner and get ready to seal all right for our sealing process i use polycuric clear gloss and I just apply with my finger I keep it in a little squirt bottle because it's easier to use just a little condiment bottle from Wally World and then you know you just put it on just a thin coat with my gloved finger until the entire cup is smooth I don't drench the thing I just do enough to get some decent coverage I'm impatient, so I use my embossing gun to dry that layer. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I go in and I do a second layer of the Polycuric Clear Gloss Water-Based. I forgot to say water-based. It is not the oil-based. It is water-based clear gloss. Right, once all of our sealer is dry, we are ready to apply our outer layer to our leopard spots. I am using the Silver Holographic Brushed Vinyl from Cricut for this. Um, I am applying them one at a time because I wanna make sure that I get them placed nice and neat over each one. If you're, sometimes I'll do four or five at a time, um, but I don't try to wrap the whole thing. If you're that talented, go for it, I envy you. But me, I just apply them one at a time over the spot. All right, once we have our spots done, here's an up close little peek at what it looks like with over the outline over the spot. Once that's done, you apply your name decal and you have your finished product. That's all I have for you. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.